certain things happen and will either cause the numbers of the organisms to shoot up or decline. Now, those things are what will contribute to the dynamics of the population. Populations are normally affected by so many factors. Now, these factors would ultimately push the numbers up. Now, how would age structure affect that if we have a large number of organisms in the reproductive age what it means is that they are going to bring up more offspring if we have a large number in the adult stage where reproductive activity virtually does not exist then you don't expect a lot of offspring to be coming from that section now population can also shrink now when population is shrinking either we have a lot of competition and therefore the environment is not conducive there's a lack of breeding sites and therefore organisms will either move out or would die and so we have said that demography is a quantitative study of populations now when you want to carry out a quantitative study it means you ought to be doing some measurements that is why in the latter sections we'll be talking about the devices for ecological study now, let us come to what we term as growth models. Now, a model is a scheme, is a design which is put forward that seeks to mimic the natural things that okay. So when we talk of population growth models, we are talking about something that has been put forward that governs how population changes, either increasing or decreasing. And we're saying that these models are two in nature and they are based on observation and natural selection principles. When we talk of natural selection, we are looking at the events that occur which would bring in numbers into the community or would push numbers out of the community. Now, the events will either promote a lot of competition and therefore some organisms may not survive, what we term survival of the fittest. Now, when we look at survival of the fittest, what it means is that a lot of organisms would move out, some would survive, and as those ones that will survive also growth reproductive ages, they will produce their kind. So, these growth patterns are based on Two, what you call semi parity and then itero parity. I remember explaining these ones, but I will recap what are friends for. Now, semi parity talks about bringing forth. Now, the prefix sem has to do with a Greek word that means once. Now, parity means bringing forth. So, when we talk of semi parity, it means the organism brings forth once in its lifetime. Now, the members therefore would have a single reproductive event in their lifetime. <music>